What is going on, Adventure Nation? Lori just disappeared. Oh, there she is. We are here in Vegas finishing up some work. We are going to head down into parts unknown in the Southwest and get this party started. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Yeah, we've been hanging out back here in Vegas again. It's not like we're just hanging out. We're getting a lot of stuff done. Um, finishing up ordering stuff for the coach and getting things taken care of at Picasso. And yeah, it's case. time to get down the road. Yeah, I'm trying to find the car keys and I have a feeling I don't have them. <laughs> no, I've got them. I just- I can see you. I left handed them. I am- this is probably too much information. I'm ambidextrous, so I use both hands for things. And sometimes I use my left hand for keys. Sometimes I use right hand keys. And then I won't get into the other stuff. Um, you ready to roll? Yes. She's ready to roll. She's still organizing. Always organizing. It's like it's, right now, it's driving nuts. The RV's a mess. The car is a mess. So it's driving me nuts. And then, of course, I'm a mess, so I'm driving her nuts, too. <laughs> well, most of the RV is because somebody else is a mess. So, just saying. Truth hurts, folks. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. <laughs> so I'm down here at the Wynn, where we have our business. This is my truck, actually. We rarely ever, rarely ever show that thing, but... This is my personal vehicle, really. Lori's is the Ford Edge, and this is my baby. I love this thing. It is, it is an awesome truck. I don't know how long I've had this now. Probably, I guess so going on 10 years I've had this truck, and I love it. It's a Chevy Silverado 1500. It's a 02, and I always have a lot of offers to buy this truck, but I just don't wanna sell it, because I just, I just love it. It looks good and it sounds mean as heck. It is a dog though. It's not very fast. Bye, Anna. Bye. <laughs> One of the reasons I had to take the truck out today was I had to get it smogged. I was running to get some parts and things as well, but the main reason was smog. And I got to the smog place, I was second or third in line. And I got out because I noticed the antenna was loose and I tightened up the antenna and the guy yells back, hey sir, sorry but now that you've touched your antenna, I can't do the smog anymore. I need the radio frequencies to be right so that we can do the smog. It took me a sec, like flash, and then I started to smile and I'm like, nice try, dude. But it was pretty funny. Got the other parts that I need and now I'm heading back to the wind. We're gonna throw a new bolt in the top of the golf cart and then uh, we're done. And then we can head back to the RV Today's Monday, so I gotta get some editing done to get the video out for tomorrow. And then tomorrow we roll out of Las Vegas. My Uber's here to pick me up at the wind. She's kinda <laughs> hot. Hello. <laughs> We're both done our errands for the day. Oh, now, are we? Uh oh, I guess we're not. No, we're not. Now where are we going? To the UPS store. Oh, we still have to go to the UPS store to pick some stuff up, yes. Pick and so. send some stuff up. Off to do that now. Lorena and I are meeting Anna for dinner tonight and we're running late. Of course. But to... first of all, I want to tell you something. What? I that you. Oh we don't have time for love right now, Lorena. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> it so, was just like improvised. Last minute thing. Last minute That's thing. Fun. So yeah, we parked at the Venetian or the Palazzo and we actually need to go to the Venetian, which is next door, but oh my god, this is beautiful. Check that out. Don't have time for love. Well, we're moving and doing it at the same time. Love. So as usual, I didn't pick up the camera at all while we were at dinner with Anna, but we had a great dinner with Anna at the Venetian. We wound up eating at a place called Canyonita. It's right on the canal where they have the gondolier going by uh, with gondolas and singing and all good. that stuff. And the food was really good. And uh, we had a good time. And uh, Anna's doing great. And now we're off to meet that crazy bastard, Kevin, and I think this is what we're gonna call it tonight. We're gonna just be 
be going to the movies and stuff, so not a whole lot going on. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi there. Out? Yep. This is Jerome? Yep. All right. You have a wonderful day. Fantastic. Thank you. I was the last, was I? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're the last people checking out today because they knew us as we were leaving. <laughs> Imagine that. And it's not even checkout time. We actually check out early. What time is it? 15 minutes early. Oh, 15 minutes we still got before we need to check Plenty out. Plenty of space. Yeah. Plenty of time, sorry. So, we are leaving Thousand Trails. Uh, didn't film much this morning. I went down to the wind to hang out with the guys for a little bit, show them a couple of things, but hitting the road, heading down to Palm Springs. We're still gonna be in the Southwest, but just not in Las Vegas. So this is gonna be fun to get on the road again for a little while. Yeah, this is our last time in Las Vegas for a while. At least for me. He's gonna still fly back probably, but for me... Yeah, I'll be back and forth. Last little bit in a while. As you guys know, I like to do a lot of this stuff myself as far as washing the RV and that, but it hasn't happened lately, so we decided before we left Las Vegas, we would run it through this auto truck wash and see what happens. Never Should done be this interesting. before. Like, we have never ever done this before. We know a lot of people that do, though, that have done this. We're getting lazy. And by we, I think you mean me. No, we. We're getting closer to the front, but I think if we'd known that this was going to take this long, we wouldn't have done it. We've been in line maybe 20 minutes now, maybe 25 minutes. It feels like forever. feels like a long time, but I'm just going to get some editing done while we're waiting, and, and Lori's going to catch up on social media, and that's all you can do. And then we need to get down the road, because it's my birthday. We need to celebrate today. I know. At least something. We should have skipped this one, probably. Well, too late now. Too late now. We're in line, can't go anywhere, so... What are you going to do? My friend in the RV, if you can hear me, honk your horn. Okay, brother, go ahead and pull forward. Pull you up to the first arch. I'll tell you where to stop. Pretty interesting. You tune your radio to 90.9. Okay, boss, that's good right there. Be patient, my friend. The guys will pull you forward as soon as they're ready. And as you can hear, they talk to you over your FM radio, tell you when to pull up, when to stop, and do all that kind of stuff. So, kind of cool. It's a buck twenty-five a foot, so for our thirty-four foot RV was forty-two fifty. I'm not good at math, so or I'm lazy at math, I should say. So forty-two fifty to do the RV. We're not going to do the car. We'll just do it when we get down to Palm Springs. But kind of cool. We'll find out how good of a job they do in a little bit, or I'll find out when I get to Palm Springs. I guess when I look at it and go, because, oh my yeah, god, we need to start driving. While they continue doing their thing up there, I'm going to continue editing. Alright. You can turn that off, dude. That was, uh, yeah, I got to turn off the radio. Seemed like they did a good job. We won't know until we stop somewhere and I can check it out, but that was about an, a one hour experience. So that was longer than I had hoped. Anticipated, yeah. And anticipated, but oh. also, I mean, it's one of those things that you gotta do what you gotta do. And just today and right now wasn't the time, but I was doing some editing while we were in there. So I did get a little bit done, a little bit of work done. Now we're off and running again. And while we were in there, I gave Paul the Hampton Sun I get for him, knowing that it was his birthday and they were not going to be in town. They were going to be in California on their way back. They gave me his gift for him today. He just opened it. And what it was? Richard and Cheryl gave me a Note 8, folks, for <laughs> my birthday. And it's way too much, you two. Thank you so much, you guys. That's freaking amazing totally unexpected and just so you guys know you made me cry so that's not cool but now it's time to 
get on the highway and head on to Palm Springs. Or at least towards it. We're not gonna make it. We're today. not gonna make it to Palm Springs. No. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the afternoon. We should have left around eleven. So, what are you gonna do? Lorena was so busy working and I was so busy eating licorice that we completely forgot that we just crossed into California. California. Welcome to California. Welcome to California. We haven't been here in a long time. No. And this is what the state line of California and Nevada looks like. Looks like a flat desert, like a salt flat. This is a big pull out of Las Vegas when you're heading south. You have the same thing heading north, not quite as drastic. This is just straight up. So the old girl will get a workout right now. We've never been to the Amboy Crater here before, and the Amboy Crater is a volcanic eruption that happened, actually one of the youngest in the entire country, I think. I don't know if it said country or world, but I know it's the one of the youngest in the country, and because it only happened 10,000 years ago, so not that long, 10,000 years, like that's young. I'm almost that old. but. It is a volcanic eruption. They said it's about a 1.1 mile hike out. The hike is about a one mile circumference around the cone and then uh, 80 feet up to the top or something like that. And we're not gonna do that today. Well, we're running out of daylight. And by the way, it's his birthday. <laughs> no hiking today, don't worry. It's the Amboy off in the distance there. Hello everyone. We are starting our day today at the Amboy Crater just outside of Amboy, California and it is the site of a, an eruption just they said a young eruption it was only 10,000 years ago. <laughs> well no that was the last one. That was the last one anyways yes and we didn't go hike the crater we just overnighted here. Oh my god it's extremely windy right now. It is brutally windy right now. It's super quiet out here, pitch black at night, except for the, I don't know, 400 trains that went through. There is a train, what, what is it, a mile, a mile and a half? Yeah, and it feels like it's right outside your RV. <laughs> I think because there is nothing in between to cover or to block that noise, it really feels, you can feel it, like actual feel the rumble. But it really wasn't that bad as far as the noise but they literally go through every couple of minutes. It's crazy. I don't know what time they went through in the middle of the night, but during the day since we've been up, it's constant. They're just constantly going through, but shouldn't be anything that you can't get a good night's rest. As you can see, the road's in great shape in and out of there. There's like a little oversized parking area here at the crater, and we stayed overnight. There was one other van that we started when we woke up this morning. There was a couple of other RVs. It was two, three vans us in a trailer so there was a bunch of people and there was plenty of space for everybody yeah see talking about the trains there is one coming right there is one right there yeah <laughs> we are now heading into palm springs we should get there within a few hours i don't know what stops we're making but we're gonna roll the cameras and see what happens We 
we're rolling through 29 Palms. There is a Marine base here, or Navy, doesn't make sense to have a Navy base, but I thought I saw somewhere that said Navy. Well, there said Marines, okay. So that said Marines? I don't know. I don't know. What I do know about this place is that there are a lot of tattoo parlors and military haircut places. So, if you need a military cut, and no, I don't want to hear anything in the comments about me needing that. I don't need a haircut. But there are, on this one little stretch, there has to have been a half a dozen tattoo parlors already. Well, as you guys can see, we arrived at the Thousand Trails, but now it's time to hit the pool, so we're just gonna leave you guys here. Yeah, that's a nice thing about being in a campground, taking advantage of the pool hot tub. Pool and spa, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I have a feeling it's gonna be packed tonight, though, because it's fairly warm, and I see a lot of people heading over there, but we'll catch up with you guys in the morning and maybe show you a little bit of the Thousand Trails in Palm Springs. What is going on, everybody? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. We are here in the Thousand Trails in Palm Springs, and not a bad campground. Now everyone touts this as being one of the nicer ones, and eh. Again, I have uh, really crazy high standards for campgrounds, I think because of my love of Fort Wilderness. And they had Normandy farms and things like that, but it is a desert campground, lots of palm trees, which is kind of cool. But again, as with typical with the Thousand Trails is, for me, it's just a little bit run down, but pretty nice and fairly quiet. A little bit of road noise, but not too, too bad. The sights are pretty decent and I've got a mess going on. I'm looking at my battery stuff. Here, check this out. So I'm gonna be putting in those extra couple of batteries. So I'm gonna have four batteries total. This is the compartment where my battery control center is. So I'm gonna add the other two batteries up in here, which I've already done. I just need to get the, the wiring in. The other two batteries are down underneath the stairs, but I'll put my breakers and switches and stuff in here and this will work out just fine. I'm not gonna put any kind of slide on it or anything to, to get the batteries out because they're fairly easy to reach. I can get to the terminals and stuff right here. So it's not too bad. Hopefully we'll get out a little bit later on today and do something fun, but today's kind of a work day and not a whole lot going on, so. Lori and I are gonna go for a little bike ride around the campground, show you guys around. Ready? Just a quick one. Yeah, I think we might go down and look at this RV that we saw down the street too, because that was well, kind of cool. I think we should do that. Let's before, do that first. Because otherwise, they're gonna close probably. All right, that first, let's do it. That one there's kind of cool. It's got the patio out on the side. That's kind of nice, right? You can relax yeah. outside. The nice thing about the walking or bicycling and riding at campground, so we can be those nosy neighbors just looking at other RVs. Yeah, it's awesome. That old Wander Lodge is nice too. Very cool. Okay, the one coach that we wanted to come and look at, they don't have available. It's sold, this thing here. Check that out. It's called a Holiday Rambler Trip. And I love the aerodynamic front end. Pretty cool looking thing, but the guy said it drives like crap. Still like the way it looks though. All right, well, we're gonna head back to the campground now. As you can see, the freeway is pretty close to this campground. Campground's right here. And freeway's right there. But we really didn't notice that last night at all. Didn't notice the freeway noise at all. So it wasn't so bad. Now the train on the other side, again, felt like it was running right through our RV. So I guess they have two different lodges here at this Thousand Trails, the 
pool has an area over there with billiards and things like that. And then this is supposedly the adult recreation lodge. So we'll check that out. And not a whole lot going on here today. But nice space, TV for you to kick back and relax in. They must do some dancing and crafts and things like that. They have some puzzles and things for you to do. Tons of puzzles if you're into that. So kind of cool. They have a couple different areas in the park. One is a 50 amp area, which is where we're heading into now. And we're over in the 30 amp area with the little coaches. Trying to see if we can find somebody here, a stranger. stranger. Who is there? How is the water, Laura? Um, it's warm. Warm? I love warm water. Yeah, we don't like this one. That's not bad. They have an adult swim here from four to five, so that's why the pool right now is pretty quiet. So it's kind of nice to have a couple different times during the day where they have just adults only. So you can kind of relax by the pool without screaming kids, throwing things in the water and splashing you. So. That's pretty cool. But uh, time to head back to the RV and get some work done. One of the local RV dealers, Mike Thompson, they've got some new rigs here, so you can come over here and check them out. Kind of cool. And this is the 30 amp section. Okay, one thing I forgot to show you guys in the last video that I got a lot of questions about was the urine tank and how do we, how do you go pee? So because I love you guys so much, I'm gonna share that with you as well. What's gonna be tough about this is I, I'm not sure how to show this with one hand on the camera and one hand on the, well, just, you'll see. Oh yeah, see, it's exactly how it works, just like that. Yep, okay, yep, just, just like that. So you can see that you can just go. And the two little holes in the front send everything down into the urine tank. That's it. What did you guys think I was gonna do? You filthy animals. Okay, just like that guys. And then once you go, we have our mixture of water and vinegar. And we just take that and we just do one of these. Tough, right? And that's it. And then, you know, we clean the toilet like you do a regular toilet. Every now and then you clean it. You know, sometimes it's daily, sometimes it's, you know, yearly. No, it's not every yearly. That's just disgusting. But for the most part, it's cleaned every single time. And you'll see that it, it does not have a, a toilet seat like a regular like a regular toilet. So a part of that will be sometimes if you if you spray it, you know, and you think you might have gotten a little bit on the seat, guys, you just little toilet paper and be a sweetie, wipe the seaty. <laughs> Lori's up there freaking out. <laughs> oh, I love freaking her out. That's totally unnecessary. Why? People want to know. They didn't ask for that, did they? Yeah, they wanted to know how people, they go pee. Most people know. No, the last part. What last part? I know what you were saying there. <laughs> I said, be a sweetie, wipe the CD. So this week was just a little bit of travel from Las Vegas to the Thousand Trails in... Palm Springs, forgot where we were for a second. And that's about it, we didn't have a whole lot going on, but this is where we're gonna end this one. So if this is your first time here, it would be awesome if you subscribe to our channel, maybe hang out with us for a little bit, check out some of the stuff we're doing, and it would be equally as cool if we liked the video. So, see you in another one. Hit that subscribe button.